word in your hand. Thank you, Lord. God, you're so good. You're so good. We have to take our time for our children. Sometimes we sit too long and they get lost in the shuffle. They need the word. The world that we live in is everything contrary to the word. The devil is a liar. We're going to give them the word. Always put your eyes on the word. Amen. You got to read the word. That's why it's important to learn how to read in school and at home. But when you come to church, you take what you learned in the schoolhouse and you apply it in the church house as well. See what I'm saying? Amen. So when your teacher be teaching you phonics and how to break down and how to break the words down in chunks and compound words, and all, all of that you can use to read your Bible. <gasps> Amen. Oh, that's Amen. 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 That's something. Okay, here we go. All righty. Thank you, God. It says, now the servant was more subtle than any beast of the field which the Lord God had made. And he said unto the woman, yea, hath God said Ye shall not eat of every tree in the garden. And the woman said unto the serpent, We may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden, but of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, meaning in the middle of the garden, God hath said, Ye shall not eat of it, neither shall you touch it, lest you die, lest you die. And the serpent said unto the woman, Ye shall not surely die. Let me read that again. And the serpent said unto the woman, Ye shall not surely die. <coughs> For God doeth know that in the day ye eat thereof, then your eyes shall be opened, and ye shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. Let me back up. For God do doeth know that in the day ye eat thereof, then your eyes shall be opened and ye shall be as gods with a little g. You, you guys see the little g? Little g's are nothing. You want the big g's. Okay. Amen. So, and when the woman saw that the tree was good for food and that it was pleasant to the eyes and a tree that, uh, I'm sorry, and a tree to be desire to make one wise she took of the fruit thereof and did eat and gave also unto her husband with her that means he was there with her and he did eat and I took my time and I wanted to read it nice and slow so you guys could follow along amen so you know it's there you know it's there so if you go back a little bit Oh, I'm sorry. Let's go to verse 7. Oh, see, could you please read verse 7? And the eyes of them both were opened, and they knew that they were naked, and they sewed fig leaves together and made themselves aprons. <gasps> wow. But they didn't know that before. They did. Thank you, sir. They didn't know that before. It says when they ate, their eyes came open. Before they ate, they had no, they had they had no understanding. They didn't even know what naked was. Amen. They, they didn't know what it was. Before they ate, before she looked at something and touched it and tasted it, she had no experience mm -hmm. with right. that thing. All right. Okay? So if you have never touched a strawberry and you've never tasted a strawberry, you don't know what a strawberry experience is, Amen. right? Amen. Right. So you're innocent to the texture, the feel, and the taste of strawberry. Amen. Keep that in mind. So when God tells us not to do a thing, it's not because he don't want us to have any fun. It's not because he is a party pooper. It's none of that. It's because some things we don't need to experience. Who knows what experience means? Some things we don't need to experience. Some things we don't need to be a part of. Some people we don't need to talk to. Some places we don't need to go. Some things we don't need to say. Ah, thank you. Keep your innocence. The innocence that you have as a child, some of it, most of it, you need to keep. Amen. Some experiences you don't even need to 
to have. Because once you experience something, the uh, activity of it is in your mind. Amen? So some things you don't even need to do, especially if you've been told not to do it. So in, in coming to you tonight, I want to say innocence lost. Because one thing can lead to another. Amen. 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 So because Eve looked at the fruit and it looked good to her, uh -huh. it looked good to her. That's it. See, it looks good when you look at it on the outside. Uh -huh. It looked good over there. Uh -huh. But when you walk up close and get all intertwined with it, and the things that happen, the one thing that might lead to another, then it looks totally different when you get in it. Totally uh -huh. different. Amen. So what Eve did, she took it upon herself to listen to something that was probably very familiar. And she just wasn't thinking, I guess. I don't know, but it was something very familiar. Just like for you guys, it could be something very familiar. A friend could tell you, okay, let's go over there to the playground over there. Way down there where your mom and daddy can't see you. <laughs> it's a familiar playground. You've been there before, but you went with your mom and daddy. But if your friends tell you, come on, let's go to the playground way over there by yourself, just me and you, see, they put a spin on it. Right. Just like the serpent did to Eve. Yeah. God had given them dominion. Yeah. He had told them uh, to, um, that you can have everything in the garden except for don't touch this one. Okay? So when they went out and did what God said not to do, they had consequences to pay. You know what consequences are? <laughs> Things that happen. If you do this, this going to happen. Amen. And because you did this, this going to happen. Amen. And the story goes on to say, because they did this, uh, God God said that he was going um, to uh, make childbirth very painful for the woman. Amen. I mean, it was it was just a, a, a snowball effect of things that, that happen. When you do one thing, one act of disobedience, Amen. one act of disobedience Amen. can cause you years and years and years Sometimes pain and suffering, Amen. sorrow. Mm -hmm. One thing you can do. Just one thing. You don't have to be a whole lot of them. That's right. just take one Amen. to get the ball rolling. Right. Amen. Amen. So what I want to tell you today is the innocence that you have, keep that innocence. The innocence of not being disobedient. Amen. Not being disrespectful. Mm -hmm. Not being... Uh, acting older than what you are for the young people. Uh -huh. You know, it, when I was young too, we always wanted to look a little bit older. Mm -hmm. There was a certain, that was, I mean, it was just an appeal to it. Just like Eve, that apple looked good, or whatever the fruit was, it looked good. So there's, it's, a, it's, a, it's an appeal to looking older. It's an appeal to uh, getting into a place where you've been told not to go. Mm -hmm. It draws you even. Uh -huh. But we have to train our flesh, even as a child, your age, the smallest one, where is he? Romeo. He has to learn to ch say, no, mm -mm, I'm not doing that. That's right. No, I'm, I'm, mm, I'm not going to do that. My God, God told me not to do that. My TT told me not to do that. We have to train. You have to start training your flesh now so that as you grow older, your, fl your flesh is it, 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 it's, it's subdued. It's under control. And your spirit man is stronger. You can be that conqueror that you that they were singing about in the song, amen? amen. And it starts with the little things. It's not that mom and daddy and God don't want you to have any fun. He wants you to have fun. But the, the Bible says, and I was looking today, I didn't see a place in the Bible where it talked about having fun. Anybody seen that in the Bible? No, it's not in there. God said He wants to give you joy. Uh -huh. He wants to give you eternal life. Amen. He wants to give you peace. Amen. That's what God said. He didn't say nothing about having no, no fun. Amen. And he said he wants you to be able to do things in, in holiness that will please him. He didn't say nothing about having no fun. That's right. That is very true. He didn't say that. Oh, mama, that's fun. Oh, daddy, but it's fun. But is it of God? Ah, oh, that's what he showed me. Is it of God? Is it of God? Young people, when I was young, I just couldn't wait to get out of the house. I couldn't wait. You hear me? I couldn't wait to go to college. Couldn't wait. Because I was kept in the confines. My daddy kept me in the garden. <laughs> I couldn't leave off the porch. 
can't wait to go to school. You would say, I said, can I go? Can I go? They're going over to um, so and so house and they're having a sleepover. You got a bed in there, what you need to go over there and sleep for? He kept me in the garden. Amen. Amen. 